Hi. Now in this last part of the question, it's all about finding the perimeter of this sector, of this circle. We've got uh, given to three decimal places, the angle PTQ is 1.855 radians. In other words, this angle in here, if we can just mark it in, okay, let's just put that in there, that angle is 1.8 five five radians and we're asked to find the perimeter of the sector p t q that's this distance all the way around here and in the previous part of the question we found out that the radius let's just mark that in was five units okay so if you'd like to have a go at this just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through the solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So, to get the perimeter of this sector, we first of all need to find the length of the arc, PQ. And hopefully you're familiar with that. I've got plenty of tutorials on this on my website, examsolutions.net, if you're unsure on this. But, as a brief reminder, what we have got is this, that if you have a sector and you want to find the arc length, the arc length, if theta is in radians, is theta compared with 2 pi radians. That's what you would get for a complete turn around a circle. Theta over 2 pi of the circumference. It's the fraction of the circumference. These two 2 pi's cancel one another out, giving you a familiar formula, length of an arc equals theta r, okay? But I personally prefer to write theta over 2 pi of 2 pi r, of the circumference. If this was measured in degrees, it would be theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r and then the 2 pi's wouldn't cancel out so that's why I always prefer to just write this in the kind of raw form. Okay well enough of that let's just get into this question. So we're going to find out the length of the arc PQ. Let's just call that length L. Okay so we can say that L equals the angle it's in radians 1.855 we compare it with 2 pi, which is the amount of radians in one full turn. So this is the fraction of, to times, the circumference, okay? And the circumference is 2 times pi times the radius, which in this case is going to be 5. Those two 2 pi's, as I said over here, cancel one another out. So you're just left with the length of the arc equals the angle in radians times the radius. And if you do that, you end up with 9.275. Okay, so when it comes to finally working out the perimeter, we can say that therefore the perimeter right, of PTQ equals... 9.275 and then we've got plus the 5 here and the other radius 5 so it's plus a total of 10 and you obviously get 19.275 okay